the, the power of simulation uh, is apparent really to anybody who starts to do it pretty quickly. Um, we know that by practicing our skills deliberately over and over again at, at high reliability, to achieve high reliability, we understand that this has a significant impact on patient care. All of the research, all the data that's coming out now in the last several years tells us that if we do this right, we can impact safety, we can impact quality significantly. So just like... One, we have two ladies to fire department. Go ahead, dispatch. We have a possible MVA with entrapment on Richmond Road. We need you guys to respond immediately. Richmond and Emory. Engine one copies. Uh, engine one and squad one will be responding to an MVA. Can't get his legs. Legs stuck in there. Lieutenant, I think yeah, we're going to need metro life flight, Lieutenant. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to pull him straight out onto the board. We're going to lower my cot. We're going to put your board on the cot and just slide him right slide out right on the two bolts, okay? Roll him outside edge and then spin him, all right? See, you want to grab his leg and we roll him out. He's down. On three, pull him up. Three. Two, all the way up. Two, two. Keep coming. There we go. Perfect. I, I still got seats. Let's get some head blocks on him. Yep. Nate, start a reassessment. Slide, slide the backboard. All right, Nate, let's continue our, our assessment. Christian, good radials. Crepitus only. Good breast sounds bilaterally. Abdomen good. looks to be a little rigid, left upper let's go quadrant. Ahead and continue your assessment. Pelvis is stable. Bud? Cycle another, another set of vitals there, too. Right. Cycle of BP. Nate, we're going to start a second IV. If you want to open that uh, open line up, up over there. Right now. We'll get those running in. All right, I'm going to put it up on blood tubing. Yeah, grab, grab blood tubing that way if we got to give them a unit. We'll give them two liters. And if he doesn't respond to that, then we'll go ahead and start the two units. All right. So, buddy, I need to get some history from you. You got any, you got any uh, medical history or anything? Nothing. He's not really answering me on that. All right. We have everything sitting out there in front of you. We're Do ready to go. Right quick, hook that 10cc up to my balloon for yep. me. And right. I believe, I believe you're ready to go. All right, let's do this. Put the bag here. I have the bag down here. Bag. All right. All right. Chris, I only get, hand me the bougie. I got the bottom third of this cool. All right. Squeeze everything. All yeah. right. Bougie's going through. Stylet's okay. out. We'll load the bougie. Bougie's loaded. I have okay. the bougie. Bougie, you have the All right. tube. Two tube passing through the cords. Pull, go ahead and blow the balloon up. Balloon's up. Bougie's okay. out. Come bags, you go ahead and listen. Okay. Falling's open. You got 63 for reassess, three for intubate, and two to tourniquet. <laughs> All right, go. Nate, I'm going to listen to his lungs again. All right, let's go ahead. Right side's good. Right upper's good. Again. Noticeably. Diminished on the left. All right, he's getting a little bit harder to bag right now. Yeah, right lower is good. Christian, I got some deviation to the right with this trachea right now, and he's getting real hard to bag. All right. All right and stop. left lower is diminished. Talk about his airway a little bit. Um, yeah, he has the capability uh, to intubate using multiple modalities or several adjuncts that you have at your disposal depending on the patient's status. The, of difficulty, et cetera. Can you talk about that a little bit? Anyway, I always try to do a plan A and a B, and you saw that. Uh, a is always direct uh, laryngoscopy, and then B is my, my bougie for backup. So always make sure, and everybody that I, that I work with when I'm, when I'm doing an airway knows my plan, so that way they can hand me what I need when I ask for it, and they're not, they're not just in on the plan as we're rolling. Uh, it's discussed with everybody. That's what you have to do with anything you do in, in EMS or even in the trauma base. Uh, discuss the plan, work the plan, and then prepare for a different plan if that one doesn't go as well. Well, hopefully you've gotten a good uh, picture of, of how this training occurs, uh, the power of simulation to achieve that level of deliberate practice, and really what it takes uh, to, for us to practice as healthcare providers uh, to achieve that highest level of quality that we all serve to, uh, to uh, achieve for our patients. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed it.